Hey guys, it's Viewmasters Reactions, and we're back with another unboxing. I got Bo, as you can see. Finally, I ordered her a good month before Ford, and I got Ford two months ago. I don't remember. You guys saw I did the unboxing. First unboxing I think I ever did. I also showed you the Rambo knife. I figured I might as well use the Rambo knife to do all the unboxing. It's just fun to play with so I could show you guys and then also kill things with the little kitties are up there you can't see them i'll show you briefly so you could see how adorable coco is right there see her she watches me do all my videos she's adorable look at you all so cute oh she's hiding from the camera oh my god it's a freaking adorable that is coco i'm gonna fall and kill myself it's gonna be a much quicker video than the last unboxing because i'm assuming it is exactly the same i had never opened a sideshow toy before so i wasn't sure what i was in for willing to bet it is the same thing why wouldn't it be so it's going to be very similar we're going to just go right into it i'm more interested in seeing the figure up close obviously we could see it in the image there but i want to see like up close and see i i mean i know what it's made of and everything from having gotten the ford one which honestly when i got ford it wasn't how i thought it would be made it's not like how i thought it would feel and stuff like that not saying it's a bad thing I just imagined it being like lighter and more like almost like squid not squishy but like not as hard it is like hard as a rock and it is heavy as shit like I don't mind that I just didn't expect it I was expecting something different so I mean hey it is what it is it's still really cool the Ford one is behind my chair you guys barely ever see it because of my head's positioning so me and my sister were talking and we're probably going to redesign the room soon i also just bought like two thousand dollars of more camera equipment and lighting because i feel like i'm going to rearrange the room set everything up differently i finally got the cat cam i ordered the camera so what i did was i got a camera that's better for me and i'm going to use the camera you guys have been seeing me use for the last six months to eight months. This is a fairly new camera. It's probably not even maybe half a year I've had it. But I'm already like at a point where like, all right, I just want to keep upgrading. And get, like when I start learning things, I want to use my education and the technology out there to better the video. So there's going to be some changes soon. You'll be updated. I mean, people that watch these videos, it's usually the Critical Role people. And I have four videos a week that come out for Critical Role. So you guys will definitely be the first to know. And this is the first video I'm even saying that in. Here we go. We got Bo. Let me take off all the little plasticies. As you can also see, I have my Bo shirt on. My favorite character right now in Mighty Nine is Bo. But like I said, there are two or three people right on her heels. Jester is probably second. I feel like Jester doesn't get in there as number one only because she's more chaotic, and I know that's the character, but it's just, like, too chaotic for me. Bo says and does enough silly things or stupid things, depending on how you want to see it. I love her. I love what she does. I love how she delivers her information. She even said in the Talks Machina that in the beginning, she actually disliked her own character. I forget the wording she used, but Marisha literally said, in the beginning, I didn't like how my character felt for like at least an episode or two. And that's when I said she was my least favorite. Now she's less chaotic and just as cool. So her and Jester in my mind are very similar personalities in the sense of not giving a shit and going head on. That's why they fought in the gentleman's pub. I guess it's also the fact that she's a badass monk and Jester's kind of like this cute little tiefling. So Jester's more cute than she is badass. I think Bo just seems like a badass martial artist and i have taken two decades of martial arts i also love martial arts movies Ip man is one of my favorite of all time she's got a bow staff she's constantly punching and i mean she fights hand-to-hand -hand combat so here we go opening up oh that's right see i'm starting to remember how it was so there's actually let me pull it out first let me pull it out first i think i said that last time too because it's got all these things around it that you got to cut, like seals, like we never touch this. That's all that's in the box. So I showed you guys this last time. Here's the box. 
pretty cool art. I mean, actually, that's really cool. Ford was pretty cool, too, but I feel like Bo is much cooler looking art. Her name is on the top. Critical Role Mighty Nine emblem. Then you got the Mighty Nine. Sideshow toy. Statue, Sideshow, Mighty Nine. Critical Role. Sideshow.com. And then your copyright and everything else. Honestly, I dig that. I almost want to display that. But what is the sense when I'm going to display this? My idea is this room goes all the way that way. You guys have seen it when I take this image down. You guys have seen the full room. It's probably 15 feet long. The problem is, or at least I thought the problem was, it's only about 10 feet wide. Over here, it's about 14 feet wide. So I thought it would work over here being as there's an extra four feet. I honestly think after having done this as long as I have that the less feet, the better. I thought if you were too tight, that things would be like right up your ass kind of thing and it wouldn't look good. Instead, when I do it like this, everything is blurry. And if I focus in on that, then I'm blurry. Like right now, it's not too bad because I'm in the background and I adjusted it so that it would look better. But when I'm sitting in the chair up close, this all blurs because there's just too much going on and it's a good 10 feet back. If I move everything over here, it actually would probably work out perfectly, even though I originally thought it was way too tight. That's a J rant for you, but you guys are getting first knowledge of what everything might look like in the next coming months. I also am probably going to take some time off of work to do it all because I want to do it all right. Like I said, I already bought all this new equipment, cameras and stuff. There's going to be a cat cam. This right here is going to start being a cat cam. Yes, you watch the show down there when the show runs, and most of the people just want to see the show anyway. But there's a lot of times, like shows like this, where there's just a lot of downtime, like the live streams. The live streams especially. I'm telling you guys all the ideas while I do a 50-minute unboxing. All right, so here we go. Last cutting. There goes the kitty. The kitty is running away. Because I'm screaming probably. We're just going to cut it all open. We're going to... This thing is insanely sharp. You guys saw it last time. I, I honestly didn't check it when I bought it. So I was like assuming maybe you had to sharpen it. It comes sharp as hell. All right. This one's not as tight. The Ford one was really tight. And here is Bo. She is wrapped up for my approval. She is not nearly as heavy as Ford. The base is the heaviest part. The base is like a marble plaque. So the base is definitely heavier, but here we go. Maybe if I adjust the lighting. Ready? I'm going to adjust it so you guys can see the front better. So that is Bo, guys. She looks super, super tan. Oh my God. I just looked and I'm like, oh my God, she's got one arm. I did the same thing with Ford where I literally was like, oh my God, did I just spoil something? She has one arm. But I forgot, we have to attach her arm first. Let's go attach her arm. This is why they didn't attach the arm. Look at the bow. Her bow staff is bigger than her. So it would probably break in shipping. The same thing happened with Ford's sword. They shipped it separately and his arm was detached. So let's put her arm on. So there we go, guys. That is bow. That is Bo with her bow. Looks frigging awesome. She has a scar on her belly. I don't know. You see that? An X scar on her belly. The goggles. I'm assuming those are the night goggles. I'm not sure. Oh, that's the cobalt soul thing. Look at this. The cobalt soul. I don't know what the other things are. She's got a cloak on. Looks like she's got bracers. I see bracers. I'm assuming those could be. I mean, it could be something else. Or maybe she already has something like that. But we did come across bracers recently in Pumat Soul's place. I like the bow. Even the bow has like a cobalt soul looking thing on it. Very awesome. Let's put her on the base. The base is the heaviest part. It's by far. It's literally, you. if you guys saw the Ford one, it's, a, it's literally like a block of marble. It's way heavier than the toy itself. This thing, I would bet, is probably three or four times heavier than Bo. They slide in real nice. That is my favorite, way more than Ford. I'm sorry. I Maybe it's that I just love the character more, but I think Bo looks so much cooler. I love the blue. I love the goggles on her belt. The cobalt soul sash she has on the, both the Bo and herself Bo. I got it to go a little brighter. See the scar? Look at that scar. 
The goggles are awesome. I feel like the blue with the purple and the cape, we're gonna do a, a spin around now. Look at that cape and the bracers. Everything just looks so great. The coloring, maybe it's just that I love dark royal blues and purples. And I mean, you got all sorts of blues. I, I just love the colors. And Bo is amazing. She's got her staff and her bracers. Loving it. That one's going up somewhere where you guys could see. Once I redesigned the room, I hope you enjoyed. Everyone say goodbye. Bo's going to give you a kiss. You guys want to see more of what I do? Full unedited reactions of all the shows on the channel. Seasons ahead of what you're seeing. Hundreds of exclusives you'll only see on Patreon. The link is in front of you. Dozens of shows you'll only see on Patreon. Like Doctor Who, Person of Interest, and all that other jazz. Go check it out. If not, comments down below. Like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.